Hey there, welcome to Module 3. In this course, we will cover user profiles, roles, permissions, and access control. Let's jump in. In this module, we will help guide you through user profiles, learn about user permissions, and cover the different roles as well as access control. If you are keeping track, this module will cover some of the people and permissions section as well as the directory section. Complete profiles show users' contact information, relationships, location, groups, education, skills, and more. Profile data becomes keywords for advanced searches and parameters for creating groups. Add a profile picture that others can see when they view your profile or contact card and during a chat or call. Set your contact options so others know how to contact you. Choose primary contacts so that calls and email messages go to your specified number or address when others click your contact buttons. Add sections to your profile and add more information to your profile. Add your location so others know your location and your office location. Add tags to your profile and help others find you by your skills and experience. Search by profile tag to find everyone in your organization with the same skill or certification. Create a group to associate users who have common traits like a skill, a manager, or a project. Add people to your favorites list by clicking the favorite icon. Access card and hierarchy tree views of a person's relationships in your company's reporting structure. Although each user will have to do the following items and an administrator is unable to do this for the user, it is nice to have an understanding should they need assistance. Adding work-related information to your profile to help your coworkers find you using advanced search. Add work-related information to your profile. Click your profile picture in the sidebar and then click the larger profile picture. You can also access your profile from the contact card that appears anywhere you see your profile picture. To change the information in a section in edit mode, in the section you want to change, click edit. To make it more personal, in edit mode, you can make many changes to your profile. You can add a profile picture that others can see when they view your profile or contact card and during a chat or call. Set your contact options so others know how to contact you. You can choose primary contacts so that calls and email messages go to your specified number or address when others click your contact buttons. You can also add sections to your profile and add more information to your profile. Adding tags to your profile can help others find you by your skills and experience. After locations have been added to your Genesis Cloud Org, adding your location allows others to know your location and your office location. In order to edit the profile fields that a user has access to, you will need to go within the directory section and go to profile fields. From here, you can add new sections for the user profiles. Right below, that is the area that shows all sections in user profiles. To see the fields in a section, click its name in this list. You have the ability to reorder the sections as well as edit where you can configure the name and instruction test for the sections. On the right side, the Add Field button opens the Add Field page to add a field to a profile section. Below that is the area where you are able to edit labels for all applicable languages. Keep in mind, there are several different ways to configure user profiles. In our hands-on exercise, we will go through basic situations, but always be sure to follow your organization's best practices. Each role in Genesis Cloud contains one or more permissions. The permissions allow users with that role to do various tasks, such as create groups, set up integrations, and supervise contact center activity. User management is a critical aspect of maintaining a secure and organized system for any organization that deals with user data. Let's review the out-of-the-box roles. First, we will go over the layout. The role column has the name of the roles. Default roles cannot be renamed, but custom roles you create can. Under role type, you will see whether it is a custom or default role. The description column has a brief description of what the role is. The license column lets you know what the required minimum license that is needed to use that role. Finally, under actions, clicking on the three vertical dots will get you to editing, changing the membership, copying or deleting the role. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go through the default roles. The admin role has permissions to make any changes to a Genesis Cloud organization. This role is automatically assigned to whoever sets up the organization. This person is responsible for inviting others to a Genesis Cloud organization and for assigning roles to invitees. 
The AI agent role has permissions for alerting analytics and bot flow analytics, which provides the agent access to the AI services. The communicate admin role has permissions to make changes to alerting, the user interface, agent details and conversations and queries. The admin role is specific to the Genesis communicate product. The communicate user role allows a user with this role access to alerting, the user interface, agent and conversation details, as well as reporting. This role enables the user to place calls. The developer role is responsible for creating applications that use the Genesis Cloud API or integration capabilities, as well as creating the call flows that will route the caller through the Genesis Cloud experience. The employee role in Genesis Cloud has the lowest level of permissions and is automatically assigned to all users when they are added to an organization. This role cannot be removed from an organization. To grant additional permissions, an administrator must assign additional roles to the user. The Genesis Cloud Voice Admin role enables the user to purchase numbers and view the number inventory. The Integration Server role allows bridge connectors to communicate with Genesis Cloud. The Master Admin role adds on Contact Center administrative rights. It is an expansion of the admin role, which has permissions to make any changes to a Genesis Cloud organization. The Outbound Admin role defines and manages contact lists. Contactable times, do not call lists, campaigns, campaign sequences, wrap-up code mappings, call analysis response, rule sets, and organization-wide campaign settings. The outbound agent role gives the user the ability to perform outbound dialing for campaigns. The people admin role gives a user the ability to create, manage, and delete users as well as grant those users permissions and roles. The Planner Admin role allows the user to determine the number of agents and associated skills needed for proper staffing and to plan work schedules to ensure that staff is in place at the proper times throughout the day and week to meet performance objectives. Managing employee time and adherence to ensure that staff is in place at the right times to meet the performance objectives. It also allows for monitoring and analyzing to make adjustments to ensure the team meets objectives in real time and improve planning efforts. The Quality Administrator role oversees quality operations in the contact center. This role has permissions to manage encryption keys, quality policies, and evaluation forms, and create and modify evaluations, calibrations, recordings, and annotations. The Quality Evaluator role gives a user permissions and access to be assigned and to complete quality management evaluations and calibration evaluations. The SKIM integration role grants the necessary permissions to use the SKIM API endpoints. The script designer role enables users to create scripts, manage existing scripts, make scripts available for use by publishing them and manage published scripts. The supervisor role grants the user permissions to monitor and manage their team, agents assigned to queues, can responses after call work, and wrap-up codes. The telephony admin role allows the user to set up stations, extension pools, and sites. The Trusted External User role is the minimum role needing assigned to an external user who has access to your organization. The User role is a role that needs to be added to anyone in an organization that is an agent and will be in an ACD queue. The Wallboard User role is minimal permissions to display a wallboard. Most commonly, this role is used to display real-time statistics. Although we covered all of the default roles that get added when a Genesis Cloud organization gets created, you may find that there is a permission needed for a particular role that currently exists. Best practices are to never add or remove permissions from the default roles. For example, if you want a role like the admin role, but needed to remove or add a permission, you would click on the three vertical dots on the line of admin. A box pops up where you will select copy role. You will then be redirected to another page to configure the new role. In the new page, be sure to give it a name and description that clearly states what this role will accomplish to avoid confusion. Toggling to the Permissions tab allows you to remove or add permissions. As you are adding permissions, you can show assigned permissions in order to review what has been assigned to this role. Within the People and Permissions section, Access Control provides access control to administrators with the ability to create separate units or divisions in which to divide and categorize resources or objects. Administrators can then selectively grant users access to the set of objects. This access includes permission to view, add, edit, and delete objects. Access Control also tags data that Genesis Cloud considers a transaction to the divisions it encounters as it travels through the system.
Organizational separation is helpful for organizations that have multiple business units or business units in different physical locations. Divisions ensure that these business units generally operate independently from other areas, but continue to reside under the primary organization. You can move certain objects into a division and then specify which users can view or manage the objects in that division. Managers, administrators, and other defined roles can only access objects in the divisions to which they are granted permission. It is important to consider that divisions do not provide complete separation. For example, some objects are not eligible for inclusion in a division, and divisions share some resources such as edges. If you need a separate business unit for regulatory requirements or sensitive data purposes, best practice recommends that you create separate organizations in Genesis Cloud. To recap, this module guided you through user profiles and how to edit and create profile containers. We also reviewed the different default roles as well as how to set up a custom role. Thank you for completing Module 3. In Module 4, we will discuss Contact Center Management. See you there.